here. And um, this is just going to be like a I'll just shooting from the hip small cap video. Like I didn't realize like a lot of you guys were just so into small caps um, to this extent. And, and I've always enjoyed small caps. I've gotten a lot of engagement for the past week about this. Um, so it seems like this is more in tune to what people are looking for. Okay. Um, so this is going to be... Uh, we'll see where this goes. Um, I'm just going to review some small cap coins. It's kind of an introduction to this first. So um, I'm probably going to categorize this. So if, if you're watching this on YouTube, you could probably go to the next next uh, section if you just want to go over some coins. I'm not going to go over Bitcoin today on this video, Ethereum, none of that stuff. It's all going to be small cap coins. And I might have a little bit of a you know, longer introduction to explain a few things. But other than that, if you just want the reviews, I'm, I'm going to probably put them in categories and you could just look at them that way. <clears throat> um, but overall, this is just... Um, it's a combination of coins that you guys have wanted to look for and so I'm going to look at 10 of them today um, I may look at a few more um, but we'll see where this goes I want to keep this really short because I'm used to doing like 40 minute one hour videos and I want to keep this under 15 to 20 minutes excuse me so we'll kind of have that going on but I didn't realize the engagement that um, people were looking for with this and so um, one of my beefs about small cap coins or gems in general is um, a few one few two different things one it's very it's a sensitive topic I, in general in my opinion because a lot of these coins are five million or less some of the ones that I have I have traded in the last week or so are under two hundred thousand dollar market cap really small so if I talk about them too much they're going to explode just because I talk about them. And that's not necessarily fair, I don't think, because if, if I, it, you know, if I or somebody else gets in early and they talk about that, then that's detrimental to everybody, right? Um, <clears throat> it's, it's not really going up because it's a good coin, it's just because people are talking about it, right? So it's not necessarily something that's bad per se, but it may be um, pumped in a way that, that's not really feasible. And so there, there's a lot of e-liquidity e issues with that, or liquidity issues, I should say. And I'm a big fan of making sure you have good liquidity to trade. And so that's kind of how that plays into it. So um, I don't want to really talk too many, too much about these on my main Twitter. Um, and that kind of leads me into the second point. A lot of people are talking about small caps, but they have 50, 150,000 followers. Okay, and there's there are accounts. I don't want to talk about them right now. Maybe I will in the future if this grows. And and then if you like this, by the way, just like subscribe because I'm going to probably talk about this more. Like I said, I've gotten more engagement about this in the past week than I've had in probably you know this that was like my top five most engagement thing in the past two years. So um, it, it's clear that you guys want this. I do this behind the scenes. Um, I trade very often small caps. Um, I've, I haven't traded that much in small caps last year because it's a bad year to trade in general, right? Um, but I've traded a lot of 30x coins, things like that. And so I'm going to kind of go into that. And that's why I, um, I, that's why I mentioned the second thing is because there's too many big accounts, like 150,000 followers. They just they, they talk all this. They hype you up, right? And I can tell you right now, if they are hyping you up, if they're not teaching you how to do it, they're not training you like yeah they got free you know there's one guy in particular that i know that is using you guys um i i think so i i'm about 99 percent sure i don't want to go into it on this video <clears throat> but they hype you up with all this stuff and i've seen that before i've been on the other side where i've been hyped up by several people in the past um and those some of those people are around still some of those people are not and i've been on that losing side Okay, and I, I want to do this right, um, and I know that may not be interesting for some of you, but I'm going to teach you how to research it, what to do, what to look for, and so you can do it on your own. You know, I, I had, um, you know, I run Apex Academy. We just ended our 12 week course, and I've got a two hour course, a two hour video alone, on just how to research coins. 
um, and so it's it's an extensive process. This is one that I was looking at too, GraphLink, um, and this is my Apex script, by the way. This is a bot that I'm gonna be releasing pretty soon. And as you can see, it's only done three trays this year. <clears throat> and from here, we got, if you wanna go from buy to sell, it was it was 663%. And so that's the kind of stuff that you can look forward to as well. Um, I have scripts, it's, it's, I'm not trying to just bull crap you about, oh, buy this, buy this, here's, and first of all, I'm never gonna tell you to buy anything, right? Never gonna tell you to buy anything. But second of all, um, I want to show you how it's done so you can eventually do it on your own. And so that you can trade and buy and try to make money on your own terms versus somebody else's. Because I guarantee you, if you are in a group of somebody, if, if someone's talking out loud with 150, 200,000 followers, and they've already talked 10 times about X coin, you are their exit liquidity, okay? Especially if they're not giving you any technical analysis, especially if they're just giving you hype, especially if they have no sort of way to prove to you that it's good necessarily. Um, and I, believe me, I've been, I've been trained as a market specialist in real life. And I've been trained to do marketing, trained to do content, trained to do research, and I can see through their BS, okay? I'm not going to do that to you because I, I know how the BS works, right? And so that's kind of what I'm trying to keep you from, from happening to you. Anyway, I digress from that, but if you are interested, please like, subscribe to this video, but also probably going to have a series about this, how to research all that stuff. I'm probably going to put, you know, I'm still, I'm still a low enough account on YouTube. I'm just going to put everything on YouTube. Probably uh, my, my telegram is free. Probably put all that in there for now. Um, and so none of this stuff I'm charging for any, anything, right? I, I have I have paid plans for things. I have Apex Academy, of course. It's a 12-week course. Um, I'm going to have some bots coming up. Um, these scripts are available for anyone if they decide. Um, and I can get into this too. But also, um, I'm going to have an advanced journal where I share all my trades. Everything's going to be, you know, visible for people. So that's something. Um, there's, there's plenty of content, free, paid, whatever. This in particular I want to mention because this is a small cap coin that happens to be on KuCoin, but I want you guys to know something. So um, I was, I, and I'll just get into the small caps as I try to go into this. So the first coin I'm going to talk about is Paul, and this is Dextools.io. Uh, very simple uh, website. If you have not used it, it's just Dextools.io. I can link it in the description for you. And it's it's a good place to go to when you're just looking for absolute just like no you know nothing coins that have I mean this is a pretty big coin right now like the total market cap is 28 million that's a lot for Dex tools because to, like when I'm looking for small caps I am ideally looking for something less than five million and and so the idea of small caps is a little bit subjective. It depends on how big the total market cap is, <clears throat> for one. But it also is dependent on the current liquidity of the market. And so currently, we have a higher total market cap um, for the entire uh, crypto space. So we can look at total for that, right? And so currently, the total market cap this is orange one here it's 1.03 trillion that's a lot of money right but this is the bottom in my opinion the bottom is already in for the current cycle for bitcoin but we are still at a lower liquidity point than what we were previously so like despite the fact that 2017 was a lower market cap for the total market we still had higher liquidity. There were still more buyers and sellers. So right now is not a good time for liquidity as much as there should be um, necessarily. So you got to play into that, right? And that plays into the total market cap. And one way we can look at that is by going to CoinGecko. And so this is just the front page CoinGecko. Nothing. I'm not going to show you anything that you can't do on yourself to, for yourself. Um, I don't use anything that's paid. I just know how to research. So <clears throat> that's the thing. So like when you're looking for small caps, don't think that you have to spend money necessarily to do it. The biggest thing you're going to have to spend money for is actually buying the coins themselves. And, and we'll get into that. Again, I'll have a whole research video on this, so I don't want to go into this too much. But if I go into this by market cap, if we go down here, it, it, this is sorted by market cap, right? So you can see the top, the 100th coin 
has about you know 478 million market cap if we go to rank if we go to the 400 section now we can see that the lowest coin is about one tenth that. It's about 44 million, right? So you, you've already subtracted 90% of the market cap and sucked that out. So like you automatically, um, now we're getting closer into the zone, right? So we're looking at coins, ideally less than 500 rank market cap because if from if I want to buy, let's say caps, I'm not interested in, I'm not saying to buy any of this stuff, right? But let's say if I was interested in caps and I bought it $44 million, by the time it got to rank 100, then I would have made a 10x maximum. Now that's problematic despite the fact that that sounds pretty good because we don't know if it's gonna make it to 100. 100 is very competitive. And so that's the thing, once you get closer and closer to rank number one, first of all, you're not gonna, you know, something like caps is probably, you know, I'm not making fun of it obviously, but I don't know what it is even. It's not gonna rank Bitcoin. It's just not. It's probably not going to rank top 10 unless people know about it. See, like, I've never even heard of caps. Um, I, I actually know of other coins that are called caps. So I don't know if that's the same coin or not. It seems like it's performed well this past week. But all that being said, it's going to be more, much more competitive the closer you get to one. And it's going to be very competitive once you get to like 150, 200. And so your maximum rate of return is going to be significantly more challenging. And so even if I, it got ranked to 100, your max is going to be 10x. So let's go to let's go to the number nine tab. So now you can see the top <coughs> top of the 800 list is about 18 market cap. So now we're kind of getting down to it. So let's go ahead and go down to 900. We're at 13 market caps, right? So um, so that's about uh, one third of the previous tab that we looked at, which is also 90, which is 90% lower than the 100 market cap. So um, that really narrows it down. So you need a 3X to get to the 400, or 40, about 40 million market cap. And then you need another 10X to get uh, to the top 100 list. So you got your three times your 10 is 30. So now we're talking, right? Now a 30X is a lot more feasible. And so now you can see why I focus on a lot lower coins. And so in order to really do that, I try to focus on number 10. And so, and I do this on CoinGecko, I, and I use, for the most part, I use CoinGecko Dex Tools. That's it. And I'll use TradingView a little bit, um, depending on what I'm looking for. But this is kind of where I start. I think um, in order for it to get a good advantage, I try to look for um, something that's ranked at least 900 or lower. Um, and again, it depends on the market cap. It depends on the market because as we get into the bull run this is going to be um, much more lower perceived as a lower market cap than it is now I'm 11 11 million is not that great <clears throat> um, but it's relatively okay considering the market conditions currently it, you know it's it's not a bearish market um, it's kind of neutral in my opinion um, so I don't know if that makes sense, but my main focus for the small cap coins is to look for 900 or lower, ideally um, 1,000 or lower. So that's kind of what I look for that. Um, and so that's a little bit of a, a little bit of a, an introduction to the next video I'm going to do, is, which is going to be like all research. So it's going to be like, I, I don't know how long it's going to be, I'll just tips, tricks, things like that. So if, you, if you're interested, let me know. Um,